Enzo, you're so cute. His name is Enzo, an English bulldog puppy, the first dog Darren Harris from Yonkers ever had. He's like a son, you know? He's like a son to me. Three months ago, Darren and his mom, Tabitha, took Enzo to the grooming salon at PetSmart in Pelham, New York. When we dropped him off, he was happy. Everything was perfect. But less than an hour later, they got an emergency call, returned to PetSmart, and watched Enzo die. He was running back and forth because he was in such a panic because his throat was closing up on him. PetSmart says its groomers are trained to take special care with bulldogs and other breeds with short snouts who can have trouble breathing in hot and stressful environments. The care includes minimal kennel time, no muzzles, and towel drying. I'm Arnold Diaz from PIX11. I was looking for a, a manager. PetSmart's investigation found the groomer acted appropriately, recognized signs of stress, and immediately took Enzo to the veterinarian. The vet was at the Banfield Pet Hospital inside the store. Down to the vet, they just all seemed so lost and not knowing what to do. A Banfield spokesperson says our veterinary team provided care, including but not limited to oxygen therapy, sedation, and CPR. It turns out Enzo's case is not an isolated incident, according to an investigative report published last year. The NJ.com article says, according to owners' reports, in the past 10 years, 47 dogs in 14 states died during or after being groomed at PetSmart stores. 20 of them were English bulldogs or similar breeds. A PetSmart spokesperson says, we're not aware of, nor did NJ Advance Media put forth any evidence suggesting the PetSmart services caused the deaths. He was a happy, bright and alert dog that um, didn't know he had a problem. Enzo's veterinarian says the puppy did have a kidney disease. PetSmart says the medical records and that pre-existing condition confirm Enzo was in failing health prior to the groom. But Dr. Richard Jackamer says the kidney condition was stable. Kidney disease, and especially the state that Enzo was in, would not lead to an acute death. So I don't think it was, it was pretty much incidental at the time. Without an autopsy, we'll never know why Enzo died. But Darren Harris is convinced his puppy could have been saved. He's suing PetSmart in small claims court. We'll keep you posted. You happy? Hey. If you've got a story for me, send an email to whatashame at pix11.com or contact me on Facebook or Twitter. I'm Arnold Diaz, Pix11 News.